that we believe that uh, Ms. Mullen was entitled to bail. So therefore, we negotiated some reasonable conditions uh, uh, with her counsel uh, and agreed to the bail. Now, obviously, there's another issue uh, in play, which is the other sentence that she's facing out of Lycoming County. Uh, so what happened today was some discussion about how that's to be handled. It's our position that that's a question for the court in Lycoming County, not from this court. Uh, and that if there's any decision that needs to be made on that, it should be made by a judge in Lycoming County, not this judge, who has before him the Cumberland County case. So we'll, we'll deal with that issue. Now, going forward, uh, what we intend to do is uh, I've already engaged uh, with the agreement of the Carlisle Water Police Department uh, with some investigators, uh, uh, experienced human investigators from the Pennsylvania State Police who are going to review this case. I mean, ultimately, I'm going to have to make a decision regarding retrial. Uh, and we're uh, over 40 years down the road. Uh, obviously, we're going to have issues with witnesses who are not available with physical evidence. Uh, so we're going to make a determination, uh, an investigation. We're going to do an investigation to determine uh, whether, in fact, we're going to be in a position to retry this case. Uh, if we are, I have every intention of doing that. But that's going to be determined by the investigation that's done. Talk about how difficult that investigation is going to be 40 years after this fire happened. Certainly. Well, I've never been involved in this situation before. I mean, I was two years old uh, when this happened. Uh, and obviously, we've got to see what we can resurrect. now. One of the things that we have going for us in this case is that, as I said from the outset, this is much more than a fire science case. Uh, this is a case where there were witnesses, there was motive, there was means, there was opportunity. And I believe in that respect there are things that we can resurrect in order to try to get this case done. So uh, don't, don't take for a second that I'm saying we're, we're completely uh, out of the woods here because I don't believe that we are. But we're going to do a thorough investigation and make sure that if we're going to go forward we have evidence that we believe can support the charges. I don't believe for a second uh, that this woman is innocent. This is not an innocence case. This is a niche fire science opinion case. But the question still remains whether we have evidence uh, all these years later uh, that will support the charges. Why do you think it's so important for people in the community to know about this case and to understand it? It seems like there are a lot of Complicated avenues, but it's sure. Well, people who are, are, are interested in these issues uh, have seen a lot of uh, a, a lot of media portrayals of, of innocence and innocence exonerations. And what I've tried to articulate as the Commonwealth's position in this case, and the position of the victims, by the way, who get completely short shrift in these cases, is that we believe this is not an innocence case, and it's a case involving much more than this opinion on fire science. Motive means opportunity. So I think it's important for the public to know that, yes, we're fighting a legal battle. Judge made a decision. We disagree with that decision. But we're following the law in the sense that we believe, based on that decision, she's entitled to bail, and therefore we've agreed to it. And there's not, absolutely nothing personal going on. This is about my job as a chief law enforcement officer and finality for victims. That's why we're taking the position we're taking. As I said before, I've read uh, every piece of paper connected with this case. I've talked to the people who are involved. I've talked to the attorneys who tried it. Uh, I have no doubt. Now, the question, uh, what I think doesn't matter, though, it matters whether we have the evidence to support the charges and I'm going to make that determination. And so while you're doing that investigation, there's also an appeal going on about the decision to have a trial. Absolutely. I, we, we have to be ready. Uh, uh, to try this case in the event that we don't succeed on that appeal. Uh, we think we have a case to make. But if we don't, we're going to have to be ready to try this case. And it could stand without the fire science. A case, a case against her could be built without. It's possible. I, I believe it would be difficult. Um, but it, look, we, there are certain things we know. We know that a fire happened. Uh, there may be a dispute about how it happened, but we know that a fire happened. So certainly we'll have experts look at that, and we'll have the investigators try to put the case together. Are any of the witnesses are still alive? Do you know, like, uh, I, I know at least one of them is, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly we've had contact from people based on the, uh, the coverage of this case saying, uh, hey, I think this person's around, or I know this. So we'll run we'll, we'll that down as part of our investigation. But in your eyes, she's still guilty. Absolutely. You know, whether we have the evidence to retry the case uh, is another question. Thank you.